Postseason basketball here at the Ted Costin Convocation Center. Round one of the college basketball invitational Old Dominion in South Dakota State. Ted Alexander, former ODU captain Billy Mann. Question we asked going in, which team would be ready to play? And boy, those Monarchs were. Well, they were in postseason mode. They were still at that tournament, I believe, in Texas. I mean, they, the intensity was there. I mean, the passes were crisp. I don't think they could play any better basketball than what they did the first half. The nice thing about the first 20 minutes was the fact that everybody was getting involved in the act. They were sharing the basketball, playing well. Offense turned to defense, and it was really everything Coach Jeff Jones would draw up. Well, it was almost a perfect half when you th come to think of it because the bench scoring was there. Amber Mo Mosley came in. Antoine gave some valuable minutes, and everything was just clicking, and they were turning uh, the other team over. Jack Rabbit's nine turnovers in the first half. It was a 19-point lead at one point for the Monarchs, and you said, you know, the ceiling has to fall in at some point. And you at halftime told me that you heard the uh, coach of South Dakota State giving his team the business. You knew they'd come out, re come out ready for the second. Well, a veteran team is going to respond, and they're a very good team. Let's not uh, forget that. But, you know, they were going to respond. You knew they were going to make a run. It was just a matter of could they overcome that big lead Old Dominion had. 15 points was the Monarch lead at halftime. It started dwindling. It started dwindling like water goes through that little cup made out of paper. You touch the bottom and it starts licking, uh, leaking, 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 and dripping, dripping, dripping. They took the lead 63-62. We thought it was over, Billy. Well, that was six minutes into, I mean, left in the game, entire game. That was the first time there was a lead change. So we looked at you and I looked at each other and said, uh-oh, something might happen here. When it comes to... Executing in the final six minutes, Monarchs did everything they needed to to win the contest by a final score of 72 to 65. Dimitri Batten, 18 points to lead the way. Four Monarchs in double figures. Ambrose Mosley off the bench had 16. You know, it really took an entire season for this team to get to this point because we've seen several times during the season where they'd have a big lead or just couldn't close the deal. They finally were able to do that against a very good basketball team. And here's the stat of the night. Two stats of the night. First of all, Monarchs forced 14 turnovers from South Dakota State, turned them into 22 points. The Jackrabbits forced only seven turnovers from Old Dominion and turned it into no points. That's one stat of the night. The other, Keenan Palmore. How about this, Billy? Six points, seven rebounds, seven assists, just one turnover. You know, that's a game that if he could duplicate, you know, the, the, rest, of the rest of the way, the older man's going to be awful tough to beat because, you know, that's your main guy who's handling the ball probably 85% of the time, not turning it over, distributing the basketball, playing good defense. Monarchs come out, are ready to play, have some fun, played with a little joie de vivre, and they gagne the victory. Final score was 72-65. On they go to round two of the College Basketball Invitational. For Billy Mann, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.